Hi there everyone, it's Gloria Kramer from Oakville, Canada, and I wanted to show you this card. We're going to put it together. It's my, I don't know, I call it a strawberry shortcake card, but it's not really. So there we go. And let's get started. So this was part of my kit for February. And I'm just going to show you how I did the circle part. Um, so I used this paper from Celebration. It's the Oso oh Ombra. And let's just get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right up along the edge, if this thing will work. Sometimes it doesn't work, I think. Okay, so we're going to go along the edge. And now we're going to go down the sides. I was going to do this video during the week, but we have renovations going on for our bathroom so it's been really difficult to to get the videos done during the week when the workers are here okay so this is just a regular sheet of cardstock that's uh size a2 but i just And then for the inside piece, I know on the inside I had the pink side, but I didn't, I sort of ran out. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to use, try this blue side and see if it works. I think it. I think we must be one of the only people who have like a home phone. I think most people just have cell phones these days. But we have both. Of course, I, and of course, get adhesive on the inside. I don't know if you remember these. This is awesome. Okay, so on the same side that this your front is, you're going to put the other piece on the other side. Now you bought my kit. This this um step would already have been done for you and the reason for that is because I had to cut the circle out as well so what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, three inch circle die and I'm just gonna cut this let's see if we can cut this without uh, destroying everything in our pack Okay, so it does need to be, oops, I guess you can't really see it here. Let's move this so you can see. So this die has to be close to the edge there. I think that's about three quarters of an inch, well, half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to run it through. Again, this is the three inch circle die. Okay. Now, had I not been lazy, I would have put a piece of um, parchment paper to sort of protect 
the top part here. But as you can see, I didn't, and it's a little dirty, but that's okay. Okay, so once we cut it, we're going to have end up with these two pieces. So this piece we're going to keep because we're going to need it. Um, let's see if we can get some of this off with... I'm telling you, this thing is the best thing ever. Because look at that, it's already getting rid of all that uh, black stuff from, from my dye machine. But it, again, if you want to avoid getting that black stuff, just pe put a piece of parchment paper over before you do it. Okay. So, then the next step is... Um, your cake here now what you can do is you can put a embossing folder and emboss the middle i tried to do it on the sample and it ripped the paper so that's why i didn't do it for my kits because i didn't want to rip the paper but then i found that this um this embossing folder the tuft embossing folder that is now retired did not rip the paper so if you do have that then you can um, you can use that in your um, when you're making this cart okay so what we're going to do is we're going to now fold it fold this piece here and we're going to take our ribbon And we're, um, my kids are just coming home, so the dogs are a little excited to, to see my kids. So you might hear some noise in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this ribbon, and we're just going to sort of put it across the middle. And then I always like to fold it around. You can cut it, but I like to fold it because I just think it gives it a cleaner edge so that's what I'm going to do there and then I'm not really sure what I want to stamp here I think it's going to be a birthday card so for now I'm going to leave it it's one of those things that I can always stamp later so I think that's what I'm going to do the next step is we're going to We're going to uh, glue this down. So if you can, if you see your piece, this this side that's uh, scored here is going to be on the shorter end. If you want to make this at home, sorry, I'll give you the uh, the measurements. This sheet of paper is nine and a half by four, and it's scored at two and one eighth four and a quarter, and then six and three-eighths. Okay, so our next step is to glue it down. And that's just my dogs playing in the background. Because now my kids are home and they're excited. And that's just what they do. Okay. So we're just going to line it up to the, where the fold line is, and we're just going to place that down. Now, um, oops, you know what? I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have put the adhesive all the way across. We have the eraser, this sticky eraser. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't ruin this card for good. 
I think it's salvageable. I guess this is what happens when you do one video and all you have is one take for this video, so. Don't mind the barking dogs or the screaming kids. We're all good. We're gonna make this work. Okay, so now that we've saved our card, thanks to this adhesive eraser, whew, it's a good thing we have it. All right. Okay, so this part is glued down. Now we're going to glue down the other part. And this is how I do it. I basically close it. We're going to do the adhesive right this time. And then we're just going to close the card like that so that we know it ends up being flat. So that's our piece there. Okay, next we're going to work on this piece. On my sample, the piece is embossed. I'm not going to emboss this one just because of time. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp happy birthday on it. And this is actually, the sentiment is from Punch Party. And this is the Celebration Host set. And you get this with a $330 order, I think. And it's free. You get that free if you... Um, if you have a $330 party. Okay. So I'm gonna stamp that. It says happy birthday. We're gonna get our embossing powder. I just noticed I didn't turn on my ring light. I don't know if it makes a difference, but we'll, I guess we'll see. Just going to brush this off. And we're going to use our heat gun. this up with some dimensionals actually let's just put one in the middle so I'm gonna put that in the middle And then all these little strawberry things, these were fussy cut out of the DSP that was included in your kit. Um, now what I like to do is just sort of slip them in there. So they don't have to be perfectly cut it, and it doesn't even have to be exactly like the images that I 
having a very good day, am I? Okay, let's try another one. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just put that over there. I think I'm going to pop this one up. So I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of it. Now what I did is I also used my Wink of Stella on some of the berries. And that's, I don't know, stick one there. That looks good. So you can use as many or as much or as few as you want. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it there. Now for, for this sort of pop-up piece, you are going to put adhesive just on this piece here. So just on this half. So we're going to try to get it right this time. You would think I had never made this card before. No, I've actually made three of these already. Believe it or not. And there we go. And then what I also did is, uh, our next step is of course, I, I forgot to pre-cut my, my foil piece. So you're going to put your foil piece that comes in your kit right along the bottom here. And then you can cut extra berries to put on the side. And then what you're going to do is also put extra berries along the top here. And I don't know that I have enough berries, but I'm going to, I guess we'll sort of see once we start putting these on. So like I said, you don't have to put a lot of berries on. You can just do as many as you want. The DSP that is included in your kit will give you plenty, more than enough. So there's our finished card. So just stamp your sentiment down here. You can add a couple of extra berries, some leaves. And then again, don't forget to add your foil piece on the bottom, which I didn't see in my demo kit. So, ta-da! And thanks for joining me. Hopefully this wasn't too confusing, and hopefully I'm not cut off in the video. Um, but again, I'm going to, uh, on to the next card. So, happy Saturday. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, if it's cold where you are, Stay warm and stay safe. Bye for now.